Hi guys, it's William and today I'm going to show you how I make my wonderful thick and glossy lemon curd. It's going to be very easy because it's a lemon curd so basically it's just stirring in a pot and that's it. It's very very lemony and perfect for making cakes and other desserts with this lemon curd. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start off with my eggs and I'm going to use three egg yolks and two whole eggs and I'm going to separate them and put them in one of my bowls. Okay, so now I'm going to add some lemon zest. It gives a very intense flavor from the oils in the zest, uh, whereas the lemon juice adds sharpness, for example. This will give us the most thick lemon curd ever and it's perfect for cakes, for example. And I'm going to add that in my liquid preparation. Perfect, I'm finally adding the lemon juice, very important since it is lemon curd. And I'm using three to four lemons. The quantity does not really matter, it's more or less depending on your taste. I'm always using a bit too much lemon juice because I really love a very sharp lemon curd, but three to four is always the perfect ratio. And I'm going to put my mixture on my stove top and let it cook for about five minutes on low heat. You have to stir every time during this process with your spatula just to not have any eggs cooked and scrambled eggs in your lemon curd. That would be disgusting. And so please keep an eye on it. As you can see, the texture and consistency of my lemon curd has completely changed. It's very thick and glossy, so perfect. I'm gonna take it off the heat and I'm going to strain it over some butter. I'm using unsalted butter at room temperature and that way it will melt with the hot lemon curd once you pour it onto it. And that's it. Once that your lemon curd is done, you can put some plastic wrap directly onto the lemon curd just to prevent any skin from forming. And then you can store it in the fridge for at least three hours before using. And for example, I always make it the day before I want to use it. That way it gets very, very thick and intense in flavor in the fridge overnight. So as you can see, it was very easy to make this lemon curd and I'm going to use it in many recipes in the future on this YouTube channel. So please give it a try. You can find the list of ingredients in the description box down below this video, as well as the social media where you can find me. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I will see you next time for another great recipe. Bye.